Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today we are going to cover planning the trip after the Alaska trip. The Fantasy Tours is going to leave us or is ending at Prince George and from there we are on our own. I don't like that part. <laughs> I wish someone else would plan all of this for me and I just show up. But it's got to be done. So there are a lot of online resources out there that do maps and everything, but I am a per paper person. Um, what is that site called? Allstays has a map on theirs where you're zooming in and zooming out all the time. Well, you know what? If you get a map from AAA, which I am a member, been a member since I was 15. The maps are free. They come with the membership. And you don't need to zoom in and zoom out. You just lay it out. It's there. And I have a ruler. I've had this ruler since seventh grade. <laughs> okay, you start off at A. They're letters, by the way. And then the O is about 200. 230 miles so you just put it down in the map the A and then you circle where the O lands <laughs> that's how I do it so that's 230 miles or 230 it's where I'd like to be by the time I get to my destination that's all my body can take so follow along as I try to find out where where we're going Prince George, since they're leaving us there, it is called the Sintec RV Park. I'm going to try to get one more night there because I don't want to leave all rushed. And then from there, we'll continue on. What our final destination is going to be Vernon and also Calgary to visit Uncle Gary and Aunt Loretta and then Kathy over in Calgary. We haven't told them that we're doing this yet, so they kind of know, but I'm trying to get finalized dates now. So we will start this trip on September 4th, and then from there I don't know where and when. The site that I'm using on the web is Camp Campadium. I don't, I can't remember whether I just joined for free or I joined for money. Don't remember. <laughs> but it's an excellent site in regards to finding your location because you can type in the city. Whereas in all states you can't really do that. It's, again, it's a map and I just, I don't like that version. You just zoom in and you zoom out, it makes me dizzy. So right now we're going to put the campground of where we will be at in Prince George, which again is Sin Sintec RV Park. So that's what I'm going to type in. Okay, next, Walter wants to stay at 100 Mile House. I don't know what's there. Stuck with 100 Mile Motel in RV Park. And of course, there is no pictures. What do the amenities say? 20 amp water partial hookups i think that's going to be what i'm doing right now is finding locations calling rv parks that i believe will be adequate for our needs and my needs are 50 amp sewer and water and we will work around the logistics around that so if a if the only rv park in the area Offers water or electric, the minimum, minimum has to be electrical. And if they only offer electrical or water with no sewer, forget it, we're only going to be there overnight. Yeah, this boondocking, dry camping, not my thing. <laughs> Would you want to stay in Kamloops for two days or not? Have we been to Kamloops? We've been near it. Are we, are we going to... 
Well, your 100-mile house, there is no RV park. There is an RV park there, but they only offer water and electrical, no sewer. So we're not spending more than one night there. We have to spend one night there. It's a stopover. Yeah, it's a stopover. Okay. And then from there, it's either Catchy Creek or Kamloops. So we might as well go to Kamloops because that's where Linda lives. I thought Linda lives in Calgary. No, that's um, Kathy. Kathy. Who lives in Kamloops? Linda. Linda? The youngest one with the CPA husband. <gasps> really? Yeah. I thought they lived in Cal. Oh! They live in Kamloops. They live in Kamloops? Yeah. It's not that far from Vernon. No, they live in Kamloops. Aunt Laura and Uncle Gary live in Vernon. Oh, do we have. Okay, do we have their phone number? You can get it from Aunt Laura. Okay, I guess we're staying at Kamloops for several days. Cam. A-A-M-L-O-O-P-S. Yeah, it pulls up here. It's, it's, it's a smart website. That's why I like this website. Okay, there's three possible RV sites. Not campsites. We don't go camping. We are RVing. There's a difference. I'm not sitting on the ground. I want to make sure my, my bidet toilet in Wanda works. So I can flush it and then dump it inside their, their dump. I don't want to go to a dump station. I want it to be right there with sewer hookups. These say that they have water and sewer. Water, sewer, 50 amp. Water, sewer, 50 amp. Right now, Silver Star RV Park and Vernon is winning because they have a 50 amp with water, sewer, and full hookups. Number of sites, 88. This is the one I'm liking right now. Hello, it's Ariel. I've already planned a Alaska tour trip. And on the way back, we would really like to see you. And give me a call back. Right now, the dates that we have that we're gonna go through Vernon is eight is September 11th is when we arrive we'll stay the 12th the 13th and then leave on the 14th and I also need and we'll probably be staying at Silver Star RV Park and that's what I found in Vernon they have a full hookup place and I also need suggestions in how to get to Calgary I'm looking at the map and it looks like I have to go back north on Highway Highway 1. I don't know what the Maple Leaf one is. Does that mean that it's a zigzaggy road? Or do I go? Oh, there's no road there. I, I don't know how to get to Calgary from Vernon. It's just Highway 1. Okay, I need suggestions for Highway 1 in regards to any campsites you may know. Or is Highway 1 the best thing for an Airstream trailer to go through? It looks really zigzaggy. Anyway, give me a call back. But it will be a fun trip. It will be, you're going to see some really interesting things on the Alberta side, uh, Lake Louise. Is probably going to be in our. I would love to see Lake Louise. Lake, I don't know if you saw it before when you were a kid. I did. It's absolutely beautiful. No, my parents, my parents, Adrian, and I, I don't know if I leaned it, but I stopped going camping with them. And they love this area. Um, Dad did. I'd like to see Lake Louise again, and I because, want to see my cousin. Because he loves, because of the ski areas in this area. Okay. I don't, I don't care about the skiing, but Lake Louise is absolutely beautiful. Okay, you want to stop at Lake Louise then? Uh, I think we should spend at least uh, two days there. Okay. Uh, and then go on, see uh, Kathy. Okay, all right, I'll figure something out. And then and they're straight down the 15 home. You, well, you're flying out of Calgary. I know, you get to straight go straight down the Unless you want home. to come with me. No, I'll fly home. Then you don't have the whole bed to yourself. 
Okay, so you want to see Lake Louise, so let me highlight that now. <laughs> Linda, Linda. Can, they can come down to Vernon. They can come down to Vernon? It's not far. Or we'll see them for the one night, and that'll be great. Or if they want to see us more, they can come to Vernon. No, I, I, we could spend one, we could spend a dinner in Kamloops. Right. We can check in at the thingy. And if they'd like to see us more, they can come to, they can come to Vernon. Yeah. And, and be with them. Because this is going to be a, a Monday night. That's fine. She's a teacher. They hardly work. And it's summertime. <laughs> You're a social worker. That, it doesn't freaking matter. You work off the government. It's summertime. They won't be working. It's September. Are they back in school? They're probably September? back in school. Okay. Okay. We do plan on visiting you, Linda. It's just the logistics. So we're just gonna we're gonna have dinner. And if you want to spend it more time with us, we'll be in we'll be in Vernon with your parents. But we're gonna make an effort to spend at least have dinner. Only because I'd like to spend more than one night there, but there are no RV parks near you that have full hookups. And I need my full hookups. User busy. I don't know what user busy is. That means that their line is busy. They're talking on it. They only have one line? Why do you only have one freaking line? Okay, this is why I hate doing this. Okay. Thank you. I need... I'm going back to work. Bye-bye. I need like an RV, RV site coordinator. And I would pay for that. No, this is taking, this is taking hours. Oh, goodness. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a reservation for two nights. Okay, have you gone online yet to our website and click book now? That's the best way to do it. Oh, is it? What is your... Yeah, it is, yeah. I don't Everything know. we take care of all in one, all in one time. Okay, uh, what is your <laughs> website? It's uh, brooksidecampsite.com. Okay. Or, yeah. All right. And then, yeah, you bet. You just check us out, look us up on Google there, and... Uh, Okay, I will try that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, brooksidecampsite.com. It is 16 degrees. Canada, that means Celsius. Oh, look at this. They have pictures. 58 full through site. Beautiful gallery. Oh. Oh, children. Okay. Canada writes their dates differently. It's not month, day, year. It's date, month, year. It's really confused in their website. Since it is a different country, we do have to abide by their rules. This is it up in Canada. Canada reservation system you have to essentially sign up with their website come up with a username and password I had to do that several several times okay several several times and then to find the park one that has sewer they don't really tell you on their site, so I had to go to Campanium to find that and then make the reservation. And they don't really walk you through the reservation system. You kind of have to guess or start clicking wherever. It just doesn't say next, next. Like, okay, where do I click next? Finally did it. We're gonna be there for 
four days, no, four nights. Let's see, the check-in date, then two days, and then the check-out. So that's one, two, three, oh, one more, four. Oh, this was very exhausting. Yeah, I started this about 9.30, 9 o'clock, and it's now 4 o'clock. I've been at this all day, and I'm only at BAMP doing this reservation. I'm going to have to redo this again tomorrow for Calgary all the way back to Las Vegas. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I haven't taken my nap. Finding a site with sewer is a lot more difficult than I expected. So some places only has electrical, and some places has electrical and water. Finding a place with all three? Oh dear. Okay, this one I made the reservation for in Banff. We're going to have to drive back up to Lake Louise to go see that one. But again, I think that's enough days here. I should write this down, how many days we're, we'll be there. Okay, this is where... It's now 4 o'clock. I am tired. And Walter is out running errands. And I would really like to take a nap now. Okay, so I need to find out how long... Walter wants to stay in the Calgary area and the logistics of him flying out. So if we spent two nights there, the next day he would be flying out. So maybe three nights? I have to talk to him. Okay, we're going to stop it here and continue this tomorrow. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. This is day three of doing reservations. I have booked all the sites from, oh, I don't even remember now. Just been on the phone from Prince George all the way back to Las Vegas with stops to visit relatives. There's only one camp or only one location right now that they have not yet called me. And that is in Idaho Falls. I called two RV parks over there and neither one of them has called me back yet. So we're waiting for that. It's only been an hour. Hopefully one of them calls me back. There are two campsites that have not called me back. And um, actually one of them is a horrible website. Stratmore Recreation Campground RV Park in Stratmore. Um, called them and they said to book it online and I tried to do that on their website and it kept telling me that nothing was available and yet the map they have on their website says that it's available and I could not book anything I tried to call back and the lady insisted that I do it from their website terrible See, there was another one that was in Vernon that I called, left a message with them, and they did not bother calling me back. Terrible. So, I don't know why you bother having a phone number or leaving a message. Oh, there it is. Duchess Campground in Coldstream, B.C. Left them a message, never heard back from them again. So they just don't want my business. They don't want to earn any money. Essentially is what it comes down to. You're a business, pick up your phone or return phone calls. If not, I wish you go out of business. All right, uh, as far as the map goes, I did change to this particular road atlas from Good Sam. One of the reasons is that it points out all the good Sam parks and when I'm on Campadium I just pull it in and these sites come up and I get discounts. It's wonderful. 
So I'm no longer using the other map. I'm now using this map. Okay, let's wrap it up. Uh, I hope this you found this informative. I now have a headache. Well, I don't get headaches. I'm now a little bit frustrated. On um, day three of making reservations, I wish there was a service. Maybe I can start a company. Who knows? Okay, bye.